Alrighty folks, we're going to try something new today. I've never had kidneys, and I heard they're really good for you. I love the taste of liver, beefy liver, and uh, I love the taste of heart, beef heart and uh, deer heart and elk heart. But this is um, mule deer liver, I'm sorry, mule deer kidneys. So we're going to, my son shot this yesterday, it was a, a young buck. And um, we're gonna have, we're soaking the, uh, that's the meat right now, it's just some scraps uh, from the brisket area for some tacos. We're gonna slow roast that. That's gonna be great. But we're going to um, have, um, we're gonna have this tent here and just see how the kidneys taste from this young mule deer buck. So I'm going to do what my wife does and says, <coughs> I'm gonna put this in the skillet here. I'm gonna put season all on it. This is how she cooks our normal beef liver. <coughs> is that enough to you like that? I hope it is. Maybe a little bit more. So I'm gonna put some olive oil in here and um, put some butter in here and then put it in the oven and wait until it gets tender, and then I'll take it out and I'll show you guys what it looks like and how it tastes. So this is mule deer kidneys. Okay. All right, so I've put on some uh, EEOV, and um, so we got the kidneys here. And we're going to put some foil over it and then put it in the oven. And, uh, oh, I'm going to add some butter on top of the two. And so we'll do that. So we flip them over. And my wife is going to, oh, put butter on top of it. This is purely experimentation here. So we have no idea, or I have no idea, because my wife is not going to touch it. So, um, <laughs> so we'll see. All right, and then we we'll put some boil over it and put it in the oven. Uh, we have a oven at 350, and, and it's ready. All right, here are the kidneys. They shrank down to more than half of the size. So um, we'll see how these taste here. So they are right here, so um, here it goes. I'm scared. Why are you scared? I'm very scared. I really don't want to. Okay, here we go. They really aren't bad. Really? They need some salt on them. Here, bring me some salt. Okay. Are you, are you sure? Wow, they really aren't bad at all. Really? Okay, I need to put some put salt, salt on. Hold on. I don't, I don't Let's see here. Oh. You know what they taste like? Tastes giblets. like liver. What? It tastes like giblets, like off the chicken. You, you, you know what? If you like liver and if you like chicken gizzards. That's good. Wow. So wow, okay. So now I'm just gonna bathe them in salt because I needed salt. And um, mm. see you later. Mm. They're good. Yeah, wow. Okay. Wow. They're pretty good, Dad. My daughter likes them. And so now we found another part of the deer that we can eat and don't throw away and not have to um, leave out for the coyotes. So, It is wow. an acquired taste, though. Probably. It is an acquired, yes. If you like liver and if you like chicken gizzards, if you like chicken hearts, you're going to love this. So next time you guys go hunting, uh, just um, now I'm eating the whole thing or half of it.
Wow. That tastes that's good. Some yeah, I'm I'm shocked. It's good. But, but well, and that's because I like liver. I love liver. I love chicken hearts. I love chicken gizzards. And so, wow. Okay. I'm sold. All right, so once again, um, that's one left. I had some, my daughter had some, um, and they're very, very tender. They're extremely tender. They're milky. They're, um, they're, uh, they're kind of creamy tasting. Yeah. Um, the, um, now this is off of about a one and a half to two year old to two year old buck. It was a spike. And, uh, but it was really, really good. I was, I was shocked. It didn't look that good, but it, it's really good if you like liver from a cow. So, um, what we did was we soaked them for about three or four hours in salt water. We, um, I opened them up, I, um, I split them in half, um, I took out all the white parts in there. Um, then we put them in the skillet. I put in seasonal, butter, olive oil, and then put them in the oven. I covered it with foil, and they were in the oven for 45 minutes, and they're really, really good. So anyway, that is a mule deer kidney recipe. Jill, don't scratch it. Don't scratch it. So there we go. And so my daughter's eating more. So it's it's really good. All right. Hope you guys enjoy this video, um, and uh, we'll catch you later on. See ya. My daughter's leaving no piece of meat behind. That's the whole point. There's too much meat over here. I gotta find the other kidney.